Hey there everyone, ZuperNAZ here, and I'm going to do a let's play of Dragon Warrior 3, also known as Dragon Quest 3, over in Japan. I'm going to play this while Crystal is going to be on hiatus for a while. Uh, I need to do some level grinding so I can just, before I, you know, do the final area in Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> so I'm going to post this while I'm, you know, doing some level grinding in Crystal. From what I know of, this cutscene was added to the American version of this game. Like, it wasn't originally present in the Jap Japanese version. Did I just hear some, like, voice? Like, some sort of voice cry in there? Huh. Uh, let's see. I plan on referencing, um, Dragon Quest XI here. Uh, let's see. I think th 3 is fast enough. Let's see, search. Oh, I can't look into a drawer? Huh. I guess I can't look into a drawer. I was, uh, playing the Switch version, which is actually a port of the uh, cell phone version, the mobile version of this game. Yeah, like, when I was playing the Switch version, that, that was, you know, that was a port of the mobile version, like, you can look into drawers. Hey, is this my mom? No, apparently my mom shares a generic sprite with other women. Okay, when I was playing the uh, Switch version, she had a lisp. Like, well, not like much of a lisp, but like, she had like, had like extra THs in there. I cannot go out because of the arch fiend. I can't stand anymore. So I was thinking about, 
you know, how I haven't played a Dragon Quest game um, in over a year, I, I think. And I was like thinking, oh, I want to do a Dragon Quest game on my channel, but I don't want to force it from the, you know, the hat. You know, if I draw it out from the last play, like it'll, it'll be a it would be a huge coincidence, which it was. You know, I just didn't want to grab the hat and be like, oh, uh, 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 uh oh, uh, Dragon Quest. No, I, I just wanted. It was just a lucky draw, and there's like over thirty titles in there. So if it was like a one in thirty chance, so like then it was like uh, it was actually quite the lucky draw. Uh, let's see. S E. I'm upstairs in the second floor of this one building here to create my own party members. The game has already created party members, but uh, I'm gonna make her a pilgrim, which is the equivalent of like a cleric, female. Yeah. Oh, I'm having a hard time thinking about the last name, so I had to like turn on my switcher for a moment. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. You'd think playing the Switch version of the game would have me remember the names of these characters long enough. But I feel like I have a horrible memory. Justin, and he's a soldier, male. Yes. And the last one. Ah. More can't. Oh, I put down nor can't. Yeah, this is all reference to Dragon Quest XI, and he's a wizard. Uh, here we have like the different classes. Uh, soldier and Fighter are more like the physical classes. They both have the same attack, I believe. But the uh, Soldier is more defensive, while the Fighter is has a, a faster speed. Uh, Pilgrim is like is essentially like the White Mage, the Cleric, the Healer. Wizard is like, you know, the offensive magic class. And then you have like these two other classes right here, Merchant and Goof Off. Now let me pick Wizard real quick. Uh, the Merchant class gives you more gold in battles as well as, I think, um, extra gold while selling items as well. I guess if you want to earn some more money, you could get the merchant class. I hope I'm not wrong on that. Oh, they save your game. Oh uh, yeah, so here's some characters that were all Reagan. The little setup right here, like a soldier, a wizard, and a pilgrim. But I have the characters I created right here. Uh, the goof off. Uh, that, that's the last one. Uh, I need to bring up. The goof off class. It, that's essentially what it is. It pretty much wastes your time. Like. They would be useless in battle. And you may be wondering, why would I want to have a goof-off class? Well, 
it has some benefits like later on in the game, which I hope I will bring up. If you want to have a little extra challenge with a, a reward later on, I guess you could pick the goof off class, which I don't think I've ever did a run which I had a goof off as a party member. I should do that sometime. And as, as I was doing a practice one of the version on the Switch, I was thinking like maybe I should um Oh, let me turn off my Switch. Cause I don't need it anymore. As I was uh doing a practice run version on this uh, Switch, I was like, it's, it has some similar, like, it includes some features from the Super Nintendo version of this game. Which, I don't think any of the other party members have any equipments. Oh, they have, okay, they do have a club. That's good, because... The Switch version, they had, like... The only things they have is just the clothes on their backs, like no weapons whatsoever. And that really annoyed me, like, oh jeez. I actually had to buy weapons for them. But yeah, the Switch version is very similar to... How much money do I have? Oh, 50 gold, okay, so... Let me see if I can... Oh, they don't have a it because the Switch version. The item shop guy has a pot lid, which is it's it's, it's a shield. Wonder what the, if the weapon guy has it. I keep interrupting myself. Uh, the Switch version has. Oh, I can't afford anything else here. The Switch version is very similar to the uh, S Super Nintendo version of a game, which has an additional class, which is the Thief class, as well as some sort of personality test. I don't know how much different the personality tw test is and what functions as, but it's there. Oh, I didn't mean to press parry. And I was thinking, like, maybe I should play the Super Nintendo version someday. Maybe sometime after I do the Dragon Quest games on the Super Nintendo, that's what I'll do. That's when I'll do Dragon Quest 3 on that ver- like, on the Super Nintendo. I mean, I do sometimes plan on doing some remakes of certain games. And Dragon Quest 3 especially seems like one of those games, like, I would probably do a, a, a Let's Play of a remake of that game. Now, Super Nintendo version of 1 and 2, I'm not so sure of. Oh jeez, Serenica, you need to hurt, heal yourself? I am actually surprised I could fit the entire name of Serenica in here. I thought there would be like a limit.
Oh yeah, and from what I know of the warrior class, like, levels up much faster than other classes in this game. The, sh the soldier class, I mean. I guess because it's like your big hitter. And these level up faster. Jeez, the other part member is sort of leveling up much faster than the main character. Oh my god! Wow, my l main character hasn't leveled up yet. And something I do want to bring up is that um, Dragon, like Dragon Warrior Three, Dragon Quest Three is my favorite Dragon Quest game of the NES titles. Not of the entire series as a whole, but just of the NES titles in particular. I mean, the first game can be a bit long and dull in some places. You know, Dragon Warrior 2 is a bit imbalanced. And I have a, a bit of a problem with the fourth game. Maybe I'll talk about what problems I have with the fourth game when I get to that game. I have to say, I'm so glad I don't have to level grind just to get the other part members some goddamn, like, proper weapons or anything. Since they already had their weapons. Like, like I said, the Switch version, the only things they had them on themselves were, like, a shirt. That's it. No weapons. I mean, I guess they gave you enough money just to give your other part members sticks. But it's kind of annoying that I have to go for this trouble just to give my other party members, you know, something better. Now the thing is, you could either start as like a male hero or a female hero. Which, I don't think any other Dragon Quest game has done that until, like, I believe Dragon Quest IX on the DS. Oh, and I guess Dragon Quest X on the Wii also did that as well. And we're supposed to get a Switch port of Dragon Quest X. Although it's not going to be exactly like the version on the, the Wii. For stars, you know, the Switch version of Dragon Quest X, the characters are going to be like all chibi. Little dwarves, pretty much. I mean, it's basically supposed to be like an offline version of Ten. I don't know why the offline version of Dragon Quest Ten has to be like... Like, like miniature versions of characters, but that's how it is. And who knows, maybe like in the future, like in Dragon Quest 12, we're probably gonna, we would maybe get a gender option again, just like 
3, 9, and 10. Although, don't hold your breath. Oh, I don't now I have enough magic to heal. I should probably go into town and heal up. At the end, I mean. Yeah, she certainly did not gain any MP from leveling up. You know, it's not just a uh, main hero that has, like, a gender option. The other party members have gender options as well, so you could be, like, the main hero be just a dude. And the party members be, like, women, and you could just have yourself a harem. Let's see here. I believe they already have Wayfair's clothes. Uh, let me look at the status here. Leather armor? That is... I didn't mean to do that. That is much better than the goddamn Switch version. I swear to god. Yeah, Wayfair's clothes? I don't have to buy better clothes if they already come with that. Leather armor? Oh, and just clothes. Hmm. The fact that my mage didn't come with Wayfair's clothes makes me wonder if he can't equip it. I guess I could just go ahead and buy a shield. Oh. There's an equip option. There we go. Can I interact with this? No. But you can go down the well in the Switch version, that's for sure. Oh, and what was I talking about? I was talking about how we... Talk about how... You know, the other party members can have male and female options. And... This is uh, especially noticeable in, like, in the artwork. Uh, the soldier, you know, you have this typical man in armor, but then you have, like, the female version, which has, like, sexy armor. And there's, like, a lot of Rule 34 of the female soldier just because she's in, like, this revealing bikini armor. Uh, the fire class, which is... has a, d a design that's, like, it... You know, it's very similar to um, Akira Tor Toriyama's uh, Dragon Ball series, which makes sense as Akira Toriyama, who is the creator of Dragon Ball, also did the artwork for this game. Uh, the Pilgrim class, like the, both the male and the female characters, are very similar in, in clothes wise. Uh, the mage, uh, the male is like this old wizard with a pointy green hat, while the female is is basically a witch. Um, and then there's the uh, merchant class, where like the male merchant has like a turban, while the female the female merchant has a design like similar to clothes that Bulma has her wore in the first Dragon uh, Dragon Ball series, and then there's the goof off class where like the male goof off is just straight up a clown, and the female goof off is a bunny girl.
I think I'm just gonna go around and surf around this town until like level five. And I just don't wanna, oh jeez, four ravens? Hopefully I'm strong enough to take out most of them. I mean, I did give Serenica a shield, so hopefully she can take a hit and heal some other party members. Oh, and there are there's a way to um, form your party. Like, if you go to the menu and pick formation, you can uh, set up the formation of your team, where the person up front leads the team and takes the most damage. While the person who's last in the team takes the less hits. I guess I have to set it up so that my mage takes the less damage. And you know, I should put my healer last, but... I think there's like a reason why I put my pilgrim like second in the party. So instead of just, you know, wasting my time just level grinding, I think I'll just call it a day. So if there's anyone watching, like the video, please subscribe, and have a nice day. Bye.